So I think if you look at um, Tesla, their strategy is very much they're going to compete with Uber and Lyft in San Francisco and L.A. and New York, and they're going to do that in the next two years or whatever, three Everyone years. just assumes when you say autonomy, it's like city Uber, Yeah, right? yeah. And, and we have, I would say, uh, what I think is a very well-informed, very contrarian opinion. And, and that is that if you want to make money on a Tesla robo-taxi or even a Tesla almost robo-taxi, like, you know, not fully driverless but with good autopilot, um, in both scenarios, the economics and the consumer demand is much higher on long distance. So if you have a choice of, um, you know, getting a Toyota Corolla here to take you to Santa Monica in three minutes or a Tesla Model X in 20 minutes, like, you know, for five miles, most people will just say, give me three minutes. I don't care. I just yep. want to get there. But if it's the same thing going from here to Vegas for like five hours, you're like, I'll wait 20 minutes for the Model X. Like what you care about for short term is you care about time to get to you, so you need massive scale. What you care about for long distance, what really matters is how comfortable is it, how safe is it on the highway. Autopilot becomes incredibly important, A, because it works there, and B, because it's five hours, not 10 minutes. Um, and then... You said uh, you have to make people feel like they're in a Starbucks. I remember yeah, you mentioned yeah. that. I think that's exactly. a very underrated part about yeah. this is the people. you got to deal with people still. And I think they, everyone's like, oh, it'll just be cheaper rides. You'll make money. But it's like, well, yeah. now I'm in the Tesla. and like, I kind of want to be yeah. pampered. Like, yeah, ro you know, robo-taxi like, business like, is a hospitality <laughs> business. Yes. Uh, and, Which is an and, I don't think people think of yeah, it. And you lens. want, like, what do you get at a Starbucks? Wi-Fi, food you know, some drinks, a nice space, good HVAC, um, you know, and total consistency every time you go there. That's exactly what you want in a robo-taxi. And Starbucks gives you nice bathrooms and you want the robo-taxi to take you to Starbucks if you need to. Yep. So, so that's, you know, kind of for long distance mobility, ultimately what you want to provide people. Um, but, uh, you, you know, what's most important is none of that is the just the economics. This so, is the ROI I see on my capital. Yeah. Like running on my robo taxi is going to be better if I send yeah, it on so, long distance. Yeah, so trips. just really quick, um, you know, back of the envelope. Let's say Seattle to Portland, that's 180 miles, a three hour drive. You can get a flight for, you know, 150 bucks, maybe economy. Um, you know, if, if you have a, whether it's autonomous and it picks you up or you Uber to the car at the charger, um, let's say you're charging $75 between Seattle and Portland. Uh, three hours, give it another hour for charging. So you could conceivably do six legs, you know, three round trips. That's $450 a day. Um, you know, wow. so and for the user experience, it's like a three hour car ride versus like an hour and a half flight or an hour flight. Y yeah, it's, it's even it's less of a flight. It's 40 minutes. But by the time you get to the airport and then wait at the airport and go the there, and then you're yeah. at, at Portland airport, and then you got to get a train or an uber down to downtown where you want to go where it's here it's just wherever you want to go there'll be like in in three years there'll be 10 places to pick up a tesla in seattle and there'll be 10 places to drop it in portland yeah um, portland actually has some nice um uh, municipal facilities uh but but it's 75 dollars that's you know each way which is half the price of a plane but you can have in a cyber truck you could have six people that's like 12 bucks a person it's Crazy, crazy cheap. Oh, it's cheaper than Greyhound. It's cheaper than a Chinese bus. It's the cheapest way to move people in history, and it will become the most flexible as charging increases. Um, but that's twelve thousand dollars a month of revenue. Versus, if you're running around Ubering people, I think Elon's estimate was like fifty thousand a, a, a year. You know, versus a hundred and thirty or something, hundred and forty. So, so you wow. you can make almost twice as much money running long distance in a per car basis, and if you want to uh, sell seats, you can make even more.